Welcome to our uh, second almost annual uh, talk on uh, being smart on, uh, online, especially with social media. This is uh, even smarter. All right. So uh, welcome uh, today. I want to try to accomplish uh, three things. One is to just make you aware of more of the stuff that's going on uh, on the internet, online, and with social media. Secondly is to scare the heck out of you by virtue of all the stuff that's being done, to hack you, track you, and everything else. And then the third thing is to offer uh, a bunch of what I hope are uh, useful tips. And if anybody's got a question or comment at any point in time, um, please feel free with that. Wow. For those of you that know my autistic skills, that was a lot to do this. I had to do this every time. Uh, how many of you are on Facebook? How many have a Twitter account? Fewer than that. How many have a blog? How many follow a blog? <laughs> I know which one you follow. Okay. How many have an iPhone? How many have a smartphone? How many of you text all the time? How many of you have email? What's the difference between texting and email? Yeah. It's more personal because it's going straight direct. Yeah, you just kind of chat it. You're going back and forth, right? The whole purpose of texting is you go, it's not just you say, hi, how are you? You go back and forth through a thread. Whereas email uh, tends to be a more formal message. It's something that you can save, put into categories. Email is considered to be legal documents, so when companies are investigated for things, their email uh, can be subpoenaed, all right? But email is a much different system in terms of permanency and formality, the length of letters, the ability to use attachments, et cetera. Um, how many of you uh, participate in Groupon or, or anything else, Living Social, any of it, okay? How about Foursquare, any Foursquare people? Do you know what Foursquare is? When you go to an area and visit a location, such as a restaurant, club, or just about anything else, you activate your Foursquare app, which taps into the phone's GPS receiver to get an idea about where you are. The app will pull up a list of locations near you. If your friends also have Foursquare, they can see your updates and keep track of what's going on. How many are on LinkedIn? By the time you graduate house, you got to all be on LinkedIn. You see that that number now, it's over 200 million people. When I gave this talk the last time, there were 120 million. Almost every employer is going to be looking for you on LinkedIn, even if you're not actively looking for it. You've got to have a LinkedIn account, and you've got to make it professional Professional looking. It's not the same as Facebook. Uh, my house, should I use my house? I took the blurb right off the website. This secure site provides the house community with world-class intranet services. What's the difference between the term internet and intranet? Does anybody know that? Uh, and inter the internet, which we all use, is something that's open to the general public. All right, it's the World Wide Web. And intranet is something that is a closed network for uh, employees or students or something with regard to an organization or a company. So it's only for those people. So it's an internal type of service, which is what my house is. And then how many of you ever use Wi-Fi? Okay. So we'll talk some more about uh, the pros and cons of those things. All right, so do you understand the differences among the platforms that you use? So if you're using all of those things, do you know what they are, how they differ, and why you use each one of them? Because we can really kind of be like Alice in Wonderland and get lost online and never get out. So what are your intentions and goals with each one? Is there different intentions with LinkedIn, with Foursquare, and we need to understand them. Um, we need to understand what has to be bought uh, to, to buy, download, connect, learn to use the various platforms. Know what you're doing and be selective. So there's so many between um, apps and accessories that we could get, we could go nuts. We need to be careful. Is it really necessary to have the latest hardware? So here's an interesting phenomenon for uh, Apple. Uh, they sold the most um, iPhones in uh, the fourth quarter of 2012 ever. But part of that was because they sold a lot of Apple iPhone 4, not Apple iPhone 5. Why do you think that was? Why did so many people continue to buy the Apple 4 instead of the 5? How many of you have the 5? All right, so it says, how many of you have the 4? 
So why haven't you gone to the five? That's the better way to ask the question. How come you didn't go to the five? Because it's more expensive than the four. And? It's not the same usage. Yeah, so, so they haven't convinced people that the five is significantly better. So it's the real diehards that feel like they've got to be on this 4G network, whatever that is. So that um, there are a lot of people who have the fours who are grandfathered in with the unlimited data plans, which they no longer have. It's all tiered. So we don't always have to have the latest thing. We don't have to run out to get Windows 8. Windows 7 is fine. All right. So we, uh, we as marketers do everything that we can to get you to continuously trade up, resist the urge. Is it really necessary to keep, up, keep signing up for so many apps? Every one of them has some kind of information stored on your device. Just like on the internet, they leave cookies, which means they, they track you, right? So if you're not going to use your apps, don't have them. There are some people that have literally, how many, how many do you not use? Oh, close enough, I don't use them. Get rid of them. Blast them. Um, how should you approach each social media platform that represents you with regards to the style and look you use? So let's take uh, Facebook versus LinkedIn. So Facebook, our pictures tend to be more casual, more informative, uh, more, more informal, more all geared towards our friends. Okay, LinkedIn, for those of you that have a LinkedIn account, what does that picture look like? Using the same picture as Facebook? So what is that picture? More professional. Hmm? More professional. More professional. Maybe a tie, uh, clean shaven. And a another decision you have to make is how active a participant you want to be versus just a visitor. So, for example, um, if I have a blog, it gets hit a lot every day, but the percentage of people who, who view it who are actual followers is relatively low. So, being a follower means uh, signing up for email and getting bombarded with an email at least every day. That's the one I want. So, let's go in.